Noah Chanavez was shot and killed in the line of duty early Sunday morning. And WRTV's Kaylin Kendall joins us live this midday with the latest on the shooting, plus reaction from the community. Caitlin, good afternoon. Hey, Megan, I can tell you this memorial outside of the Elwood Police Department is continuing to grow for 24-year-old officer Noah Shanavez. I'm going to step out of frame so that you can take a look. His police car is being draped with flowers, flags, balloons, and teddy bears, even handwritten notes honoring Officer Shanavez, all of them thanking him for his service. Police say that just after 2 a.m. on Sunday, Officer Shanavez was conducting a traffic stop near the intersection of State Road 37 and County Road 111 North Madison County. Police say the suspect opened fire, killing Shanavez. He was transported to the hospital where he later died. The suspect was then found by Hamilton County deputies. He did give up without incident. I can tell you at this time, the community, a very close-knit community, the community of Elwood, they all just say they want to honor Noah for all his service. People don't understand the sacrifice it takes to wear the uniform as a police officer. Every time you put it on, you're in danger. And every time that you go out on a call, you're in danger. And this young man that tragically went down on the line of duty had no idea that was going to happen. Officer Shanavez is an 11 month veteran of the Elwood Police Department and a five year military vet. I can tell you the community of Elwood is coming together to lift each other up tonight at seven at this fountain that you see just back there that's been dyed blue in his honor. They'll be having a vigil in honor of him. He survived by his mother and a few siblings and his father. I can tell you tonight he was a 2016 Fisher's graduate, just a young man who was died and killed in the line of duty. Reporting for you live from Elwood, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Kaylin, our heart goes out to his family. Today, Indiana State Police have set up a donation fund to help the family of Officer Shanavez. If you would like to give money, you can go to the Chase Bank and say you want to make a donation to the Officer Noah Shanavez Fund. The family will give every dollar of that donation 